Yay for clean laundry. Dried in the desert air. Let's see. Jiu-Jitsu t-shirt. Jiu-Jitsu t-shirt. Adaptive athlete t-shirt. Jiu-Jitsu t-shirt. Uh, probably a Teardrop RV Travels t-shirt. And an uh, adaptive athlete type t-shirt. Do I have too many Jiu-Jitsu t-shirts? Because that's not all I have. I, I brought more. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Teardrop RV Travels. Yes, I do my own laundry in camp. I will put a, uh, uh, a link up top, somewhere up here, maybe, uh, that will show you a video of how I do my laundry. And if I can find the link to it, I will put uh, the machine that I use um, in my Amazon links. Now, camp is way on the north end of Havasu, and I'm on the south end of Havasu. And why is that? Because they have an In-N-Out burger. I haven't had In-N-Out in almost a year. I'm going to go eat. Oh, I ate too much. But it, but it was good. I like in and out For those of you back home that have never had it, oh, uh, it's like a Farrell's burger, but better. And like McDonald's french fries, but better. So if you went to Farrell's and got the best burger ever from Farrell's, and then you had the best McDonald's french fries ever, that might come, come close to an in and out burger. They have a very simple menu, but they do have hidden items that aren't on the menu, so just fair warning. Ask for something animal. Just just do it. Just just do it. Well I just realized that I have my radio on playing Aussie. Let's hope that YouTube doesn't flag that. <clears throat> Alright, now. You guys may have noticed so far today I am filming on my phone. That is because my charging ports and my camper decided to uh, stop working. That's actually why I'm down here by In and Out because this is where all the auto parts stores are, and I need to stop by and see if I can get a new charging port accessory for my camper. So as soon as I get that done, and I can uh, more easily charge my. Uh, my good cameras and uh, we'll be back to uh, to non cell phone footage but anyway in and out burger completed I'm too full I may have a nap in like an auto zone parking lot holy crap I hope I'm getting that there it is 18 Warthog, baby! Woo! Tear him down! Pardon that. I really just happen to think the 18 is a badass machine. And I am told by some people that are up here parked watching that the 18 has not gone up yet. So I am hoping that uh, he buzzes the campground where we're at. We'll see. I caught the A-10 coming over. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well in the footage or not. That is the last thing a lot of bad guys hear right before they hear and then nothing. Got to have respect for the A-10 pilots. Ugly airplane. It's just a big gun. It's a, it's, it's a gun. It's all it is. It's, it's a gun with a plane wrapped around it. And you ask the engineers, they'll tell you the same thing. But those guys have had them things knocked around, half a wing knocked off. And they still bring them back home and not crash them. Those are just eight. I have a lot of respect for pilots in general, and I really like airplanes. Um, watching them fly, but the A-10 is uh, uh, it's just is a badass machine. Pardon me while I'm geeking out here, guys. You're seeing me geek out as I'm driving back to camp. Ooh, son.
Uh-huh. Probably come back around again. I just make it back to camp, and this big guy comes flying over, and then Steve, is that your name? Yes. Can I put you on camera? No? Okay. Well, one of my subscribers stopped by, caught me coming back into camp, but uh, I'm having a blast watching these planes fly over. All right, so it's actually the next day, guys. Pardon my uh, geek out over the airplane. I did get my uh, box fixed on the inside, my power box. I will show you the old offending model, which is this guy right here. I got this on Amazon three or four years ago, and I actually don't think this is bad. I think that my wiring came loose in the back, so I fished everything out of the back um, wall and uh, just redid, every, redid everything with my new unit. So let's take a look at that unit right quick. Also, thanks again to Steve, one of my subscribers, pulled up and found me and uh, stopped by and said hello, met his dog, don't remember the dog's name, but uh, anyway, it was a nice experience. Thanks for stopping by, man. Oh, okay, once again, we're inside where it's hard to film, but I will see if I can show you the new unit. There it is right there. It's not as pretty, but I, I pulled my main wiring out and put some butt splices in there. I will make it pretty later with some wire loom or something. So this one only has one 12-volt plug, and, and but it has two USB outlets. So I only ever really used one of the 12 volt plugs anyway. So crisis averted for that, but I did have to uh, get in there with a with a, a spade bit and drill a larger hole and get all of the the uh, splinters and uh, and sawdust off my bed. That was real fun. But it's all done now. I'm going to save this old unit and I will get my meter out and run it through some tests to make sure everything is okay. If it is. And I will replace the wiring back here with some butt splices, and I might use this somewhere else for future plans that I may have for this camper in the near future. Maybe not for the camper as much as my total camping experience. We'll just see how that goes. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the airplanes as much as I did. I'll tell you, I don't watch a whole lot of... Um, other YouTubers, as it were, um, van dwellers or whatever. I have a few people that I watch because they're my friends, but otherwise, uh, I watch uh, various different things. But one of the channels I watch is called Flight Test, and they make uh, they make airplanes. They make uh, remote control airplanes. I love watching that, and I love watching airplanes planes fly. And I actually do a lot of flight simulators uh, games, World War II dogfight, you know, online games. That's what I do. Uh, if you ever look online uh, uh, for gamer tags, mine is Smoke Eater, S-M-O-A-K-E-A-T-E-R. So if you see a Smoke Eater, that's probably me. Anyway, thanks for watching today, guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to support the channel, all you have to do is like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to get some merchandise, get a hat. That's a shirt. Get a shirt. Get a hat, not one of these. I got this from Dave Wanders. You'll have to talk to him about getting one of these. You can go to teardropovertravels.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. And you'll see all the stuff the cool kids like to get. Hats, stickers, things like that. Right now, I do have, until the 31st of October, a special shirt just for Randy, the mobile traveler. That is a fundraiser shirt for him. If you get one of those, all the proceeds for that go to him. It's limited edition. So if you want to get one of those for Randy, the proceeds go to him, but you only have until October 31st. And now that we're all the way at the end of the episode, we will see who watches all the way to the end, because I'm running a little contest. Along the way my tra of my travels, I've been picking up postcards. So um, I've been to the... To the uh, Indian Museum or the Native American Museum and I've been to some other places in Roswell and anyway so I've got some postcards if you comment down below in this video I want a postcard I will put you in a, in a contest and in a drawing and I'll do one of the uh, comment drawing 
applications or websites that uh, that picks comments, and you put postcard in your comment, that will put you in the running, running, and I will send you a postcard. We'll get we'll get the logistics figured out. But I wait until the end, just because not everybody always watches all the way to the end. Make a comment about I want a postcard in the bottom in the comments, and I will send one of you a postcard. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next ep next episode. And don't forget, even when your wiring screws up, no legs, no problem. You guys still here? Why? The video's over. Go watch another video. Read a book. Or maybe just subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video.